Bananas are good for a hangover. I have a hangover. I paint this. I draw this. Uh, sometimes I get paid. That's pretty cool. My name is Tanner Goldbeck. <laughs> Basically an illustrator, designer. Um, draw a lot of skulls, monsters. I pretty much started drawing when I was a kid. Uh, always drew skulls, you know. The, when you're when you're a kid in like the eighth grade, you're always doing like Metallica and, and uh, God, that's all I ever did. Go for a spin. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So anyway, yeah, this is what I do on weekends. I come up from downtown LA and basically spend all weekend putting this thing together. We've been working on it for like three years broken down a couple of times. I got stranded halfway back from Vegas last year. Pretty much grew up a redneck. I mean, when I was in high school, if you didn't have some kind of car, like my first car was a Volkswagen Bug and flared the fenders and put on uh, the Baja kit and cut off the mufflers and made as much noise as I could, so. It's kind of always been that way, drawing skulls and building cars. All right, everybody. Check this out. This I mean, drawing skulls is, I love it. I mean, it it just turns out other people like it too, you know? Everybody reacts to it. It's kind of a human thing, I think, you know? People see a skull and they're automatically like focused on it. Even when I put them in paintings, like the first thing they talk about if you do a painting, it doesn't matter what the f in the painting, if there's a skull in it, ooh, there's a skull. Like, nobody forgets this one. <laughs> If somebody told me in high school, I'd still be doing skulls when I was 38 years old, you know? I don't know, that's kind of cool. I always redraw them. Never use the same skulls. It's kind of, it'd be too easy to use the same ones all the time, you know? If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Spend the extra time on it. I work slow. <laughs> I work really slow. This is outside my building. We're sitting on the fire escape on the 10th floor. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Check it out. I live in downtown LA, which is kind of, it's on the edge of Skid Row on one side, and then you got the, the skyscrapers on the other. So you got suits on one side all day, and you got homeless guys with no pants, you know, on the other side. You live in the middle, it all mixes up. It's pretty bizarre. Yeah, I don't know if most people don't get it, but this, Inside of here is a alleyway in downtown LA. Like that is Skid Row. <laughs> you come outside your building one day and there's somebody like face down in front of the, in front of your door, you know, and I one particular woman, she does this quite often, you know, and you walk up to her and you're like, oh, you okay? You know, and she's face down going, yep, I'm fine. Give me a dollar. <laughs> like, no. Sure, all that stuff ends up in your artwork, you know. There's a little girl with a big bow, uh, big bow in her hair, and she's got a dress on. She's got no feet, you know, and uh, no arms, and, and they're like, they're kind of like dirty angels. God willing, trust still in a steady shot. Vulnerable, but he's long range of politics, fucking off what we got. Burning at a midnight lamp and the oil slick is hot. It's a pipeline in these tight times, and the heroin trades a lot. Popping in the poppy seeds about as much as they could pop. And the blowback general's a criminal because he's using what we taught. Peace, that's just a thought, and the war is a brand new thing we cop. While the tail gun gun is shot, they moving it quickly on the spot. Trying to hold it down, but don't fall now, because now we got a plot. It's thickening of the karma wheel, it's spinning and won't stop. You spend all your time working on, you know, 
jobs for the commercial end. And I guess you have to kind of set your mind to the fact that you do something there, people are gonna tell you to change it, you know? There's a lot of artists that can't handle changing artwork. And then the painting end of it was pretty much what I did just for myself, and nobody told me what to do, and nobody told me to change it. And I found out, like, if I do more of one than the other, you know, it's kind of like there is no one without the other. They're both connected. Um, for whatever screwed up reason, I have to make images. If, if I don't make an image, if I don't do a, a helmet or a t-shirt or, or a painting, I'll go nuts. You know, doesn't everybody have this obsession? <laughs>